fast, agile, head turner. This is few of the many words that describe this mini homemade jet boat. You heard it right. This is a homemade mini jet boat created by NASA Channel. Made from scraps and pocket change, yet it can perform as well as the expensive jet skis or jet boat. The life of this mini jet boat starts from this, a jet drive that probably bought from a junk shop based on how beat up it looked. So before Nasat can build up his neck breaking jet boat, he needs to clean it up and do a proper maintenance on it. After that, he started cutting up a plywood. This will be used as a mold for the hull of the boat. Before he could start creating the hull, he needs to apply a release agent to the plywood. This will make it easier to remove the plywood when the fiberglass dried. After that, he starts pouring gel coat. This red substance acts as primer to the hull, protecting the fiberglass from scratches and creating a smooth finish to the hull. And now, this toilet paper looking material is called fiber mat. This one of the key components for a strong fiberglass. After he applied first layer of the fiber mat, he starts pouring the resin. This will harden the fiberglass, creating a strong material. For additional strength, you need to apply PVC pipes coated with fiberglass. This will act as rib, creating a stiffer hull. And when the fiberglass finished curing, you can now remove the hull. Because of the release agent earlier, this made the plywood easily remove. Because the fiberglass is now dry, he starts cutting the back of the boat. This is where the jet drive will be installed. Then he secure the place of the jet drive using epoxy and fiberglass. This ensure that the jet drive won't fall off and no water will enter the boat. You may be familiar with this part. If not, this is called a supercharger. This works the same as a turbocharger. But instead of using exhaust pressure to drive the impeller, this uses a belt connected to the crankshaft, avoiding turbo lag. Now that he finished repairing the engine and modifying the supercharger to fit, he now starts painting the engine. This will make it look cool and to avoid rust, especially since this is going to be used in water. This is the result of all his hard work. A clean and reliable engine, ready to speed up in the water. To match the engine new fresh looks, the boat also need to be painted. After finishing, putting all the important parts, such as the engine, steering mechanism, and protection for the driver, the mini jet boat is now ready to rips in the water. This build proved that you don't need expensive boat to enjoy need for speed in the water. All you need is a crafty mind and the right skill which you can learn. A boat that costs less than the newest iPhone Pro Max, yet this boat can give you more happiness. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.